Hi, my name is Avinas. Welcome to my Learn with Avinas channel. Today we will learn how to install Power BI in Mac. The first step, we have to download UTM or the virtual machine for Mac. You can see this is the UTM. I'll show you how to download it. Go to your browser and type UTM. We'll see first link UTM virtual machine. Go there and you can see two options. One is download and Mac App Store. Uh, so Mac App Store you can see and download two buttons are here so we will go with the download options uh, because it is free and uh, you don't have to pay anything in download options but in Mac App Store uh, we have to pay but you will get update every time nine dollar amount you have to pay if you download it from Mac App Store if you want virtual machine update then you can go ahead and download it but I will go with download go ahead and download your choice once you have downloaded go to the gallery you'll see uh, multiple operating system we have here we have to download the operating systems so you can see Windows 11 Windows 10 and everything here Windows 11 click on that and click on guide next step to we have to download the crystal fetch which is the iso downloader for mac a download options you can see in my version i have already installed it it is crystal fetch it looks like this you just go ahead open that link and just go down and you can see here it is crystal fetch and click on the download on the app store and you can see it is free and just download it in mac app step 3 we have to download windows 11 iso file for virtual machine box so for that we have to open this uh, crystal face iso downloader open it once you install it open it and you will see this type of window will open this type of uh, box where you can see Windows 11, Windows 10, App Silicon, the architecture, then Intel 64. I do have Apple Silicon so I'll choose that. So we'll not go with this uh, default option. We'll go, you can see all builds option below. Just click on that. You'll get all the version of Windows in the left side. So we'll choose the latest one. So now in my current date, it is 20, uh, Windows 11 version 23 S2. Uh, we'll, it is a preview version. I will choose uh, Windows Pro. So your choice. Um, uh, select the Windows Pro and then tick the agree. I agree that I have a valid license to use this product. Then click on download. Then it will download in your download folder uh, download it and keep it inside step 4 install windows 11 through utm so i'll show you how to do that click on the create new virtual machine you'll see virtual option click on that virtual option uh, click on the windows because we have to install windows right click on windows and click on the first one install windows 10 or higher because we don't have bhdx image file we have installed the iso file so select the first option and then click on install driver uh, and spice tool and then browse the iso image file you can see here in my location i have in my download folder the iso image file just select on that and then click open click continue now we have to configure our hardware our virtual machine hardware so i will keep it uh, by default 4 gb 4096 mb 4 gb and then you can see the cpu options as i do have 8 core cpu so i will choose 6 core it's your choice but uh, prefer to take uh, less CPU not more than your system CPU course then click continue now we have to choose the storage so 64 GB is fine for our internal storage 
for a virtual machine. I'll go with 64 GB, click continue. And then share directory, it is a path with your Mac system to Windows system. In a virtual machine to your Mac system. So I will choose the document folder to give a directory, share directory options. So whatever I will paste here in documents that I can open in the virtual machine directly. So that would help me. Just click on continue. So here in summary, don't change anything. Keep it same. If you want to change the name, change Windows 11 and then click on save. Don't change anything. Keep click on save. Once you click on save, it will take a while and then you can see this window uh, and a button, a play button. So it is very easy. Right click on and edit and you can see all the systems configurations display. Make sure your display resize display to window size automatically should be thick. If not, then tick it and then scroll and just check. Uh, in my option, uh, it is seems like everything is fine. So I will go ahead and install Windows 11 in my virtual machine UTM. So go ahead and save and click on the play button. It will take a while. Maybe it depends on your system. So we have to wait. Follow my instruction and you will get install your windows easily. So once you see this UTM logo will appear. Then it will say start boot options. Click on enter. If you see this key, the text, click on return button. And now you can see we have options windows. So select the appropriate options as for your requirement. So I'm from India. So I will choose the language install English India. Then time, currency and keyboard, everything I'll choose for my country. So you choose yours. Then next, I don't put any uh, product key. If you have, then put it. Don't, it's not required here. Click, uh, I do not have product key. And then choose your operating system i will choose professional windows 10 professional windows 11 professional then click on next then click on accept the terms and condition and then next and then you can see uh, we have a uh, one drive on allocated space of 64 gb that we choose earlier right so I'll not, uh, I'll choose the single drive. I'll not, I'll not separate it. I'll take a single drive. So click next. And it will take some time to install your window. We can see it is in progress. It's copying the file. We have to wait after some time we'll see we don't have to do anything it will install by itself just have to wait okay now we are in the mode of getting ready you can see windows is installed now now it will start. We have to wait for the, some moments. And now we can see our Windows is ready and it is going to start. So, initial steps we have to follow select your country and click next.
you have to wait for a moment it will install and then I will ask you choose the keyboard I'll choose English India so you choose yours then click yes and then if you ha want to add a second keyboard layout I don't want to add so skip it Now you can give your system names. I'll give uh, Avinas Windows 11. Click next. If you want to give password, give it. I don't want to give. Click next. And now it will take a moment to start. We have to wait. It's getting ready. You can see now the window is ready now there are initial steps we have to follow so first thing is you have to install the spice tool utm guest tool installer so you have to click on next then i agree it will take further few moments one to two minutes to install it we'll wait it is necessary because we are running the windows in our mac machine so to run some applications in the virtual windows machine so this software you require to install it it will take further few moments And now you can see it's installed and finally okay and it will take another one minute okay so now our windows is restarting and now you can see our windows 11 virtual machine is ready so you can see the windows screen is not that fixed so we have to go to setting the first thing is you have to update our windows update so download and install all the windows update is required it's necessary it will install all the drivers that required for your windows machine we have to wait and download all the windows update and install it click on install all once you install all the updates you restart your windows and now you can see I install all my updates and now my windows is ready let me maximize it and you can see it's resized automatically with my Mac machine so go to your web browser or Microsoft Edge and type their Power BI desktop download. Go to the first link, the Power BI desktop, Microsoft link, and there just scroll it down a little bit. And you can see there is one option Microsoft Power BI desktop. So click on advanced download options. You can see a download option here. Just click on download. And you have to choose your so mine is 64 bit so download it once your download is done then just double click on the exe file in your download folder it will take for a moment to install your power bi desktop in your windows virtual machine click on next And it will start installing your Power BI desktop. 
click next accept the agreement click next and install it will take further few moments and then it will install your power bi desktop click on finish and it will launch your power bi desktop so in this way you can use power bi in your mac system so you can see in my mac system i am using the power bi desktop and now you can see the windows uh, is open the power bi desktop you can see all the options and everything is here thanks for watching please like subscribe and click on the bell icon for more learning videos happy learning